Hello guys, how you doing? Caught me off guard. Off guard, I wasn't doing anything. All right, folks, it's me, Jack, mate. Welcome back to another video. Today, I have a little bit of a little guest in. Come in, little guest. You're not little, I don't know what I'm saying. Though. David, yes. Thanks. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. That's Nozzle Mom. Hello, aka me. Thanks for the tea, by the way. That's right, mate. You made it and you told me to bring it in. <laughs> what are we talking about today? Weird things we did when we were knee high to a grasshopper. Kids. Kids. When I was a kid, I did a lot of weird things where, when I think back to it now, probably weren't normal. So picture the scene. Oh, go on. You're in a car in the back seat. I can't picture it. Okay, limo. Yeah. <laughs> or sitting in the back seat. And usually you play the game, obviously, when you see a bit of bird shit and you make it jump out of the buildings by doing that. Right? You're sitting here in the car, the window's there, there's a bit of bird shit here. And then you look at it and you're like, you bob your head like that and you're making it jump buildings when you're driving. <laughs> It's some kind of dirty frog. It was like a really shit version of Mario. So when you get bored of that game, which, you know, would be a few hours into the drive. <laughs> for some reason I was convinced that if you close your eye, so whichever way you're driving, you close the eye, so anything that's going past you goes into your eye lid. So if you see a building you like, you close that eye and it goes into your eye bag. Right? Are you with me? Um, not really, if I'm being... Honest with you, Tom. Continue. And the reason you do this is for when you die, you're gonna have a big train set of things that you belong to you, and any building that you pick will be at, at that place that when you're dead. So get collected. Have you ever got anything accidentally where you're like, oh shit, Fuck. unexpected item in the bag again? <laughs> <laughs> I remember at least well, a handful of occasions waking up and be like, oh, this would be, this would be so. so good. I woke up and then I put my feet on the pillow yeah. and then I put so everyone's in bed still. But I woke up first. I put my feet on the pillow and then I put the duvet over me. So I wanted my mum and my brother and sisters to think that I just slept like that or I just woke up like that. <laughs> Surely your mum's not going to come in and go. Nozak? No, she wouldn't call you Nozak. Would she? Would she call you Nozak? No. Alright. Can? <laughs> Thomas. Family. Well, the thing is, like, I don't think anyone ever came in the room because by that stage I got a bit hot. <laughs> I've told Tom I've got a story about a duvet, but I don't actually mind sharing embarrassing stories on YouTube as we know, but I feel like that one's probably a bit too far. Is it you being gross or just are you being weird? Really gross, really weird, yeah. It's both of them. Yeah. This week's creepy things. Jack's you know, duvet story. You know, and do my duvet. But you know when you used to roll in the duvet like that, and I'd lay there for a while, this only happened once, and then because I was like all thin, like a sausage, mm. I used to think, what if I'm actually a penis now, right? And then because I was only little, I was thinking, if I'm a penis, would the piss go through me? <laughs> and, I'm and then I thought, well at least if I'm a penis, I can go inside a woman. And how old are you? I was like four. You can't be a four. Five. You can't look at Fifteen. <laughs> this is your foreskin. Yeah, I was like wrapped up like the shape of a dick. This is the bell end, and yeah. if you were to piss, that. I remember the possibility of actually turning into a penis was plausible. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. What well, do you think that's weird that I did that then? Uh, yes. Well, so you never looked at your penis? Yeah, I, I looked at my penis. I didn't just piss, no scoping. <laughs> so, no, you looked oh, at <laughs> oh, Headshot! Sorry, Dad. Did you used to collect anything as a kid? <clears throat> Pogs, football stickers, Pokemon cards. Got, got, got. And Tazos. Need. They're all pretty <clears throat> normal things. I used to collect yellow pages and Dr. Pepper cans. As in. The Yellow Pages phone book. The big books, yeah. So the postman obviously can't put the Yellow Pages through the doors, so we just leave them on the doorstep. We'd get up early, before anyone's opened the door, we'd walk through Norwich, and get all the Yellow Pages, put them in a wheelbarrow. I was thinking, wheelbarrow? Yeah. You literally were a, a little barrow boy with your wheelbarrow. Yellow Pages! Yeah. And then we found a garage, like a car garage, that, yeah. was, uh, that had nothing in it and it was open. So we were just stacking up loads and loads of uh, yellow pages, and then our collection developed, and then we got Dr. Pepper cans as well. So loads of Dr. Pepper Were they ones that you drank? Uh, no. We were just finding them in the street, empty ones. And I remember once, four Dr. Pepper cans in this bin, and we used to go through the bin and put them in this bag, and then I had the bag like that. I saw a policeman coming, and I thought, oh, is it theft to nick rubbish off someone? Like, I don't know. So I just went like that and put it over the wall and carried on walking, and then he stopped me. and was like, what have you put over the wall? Like that, and I was like, Oh, just um, some cans of Dr. Pepper that, that I took out of the bin. He's like, oh, okay, well, that's littering. Now I got done for littering. <laughs> like if I was a policeman, I'd go, you poor little cunt. <laughs> it was kind of like a scene from Breaking Bad, you know, where Walter White sits on all his money. Yeah. It's like that, but just yellow pages. If you needed to call anyone, I was your man. How did that end? Did the garage get. Uh, I think we just grew out of it and just left it there. It's probably still there now. That's probably why yellow pages in the back. Let's go. 
Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. It helps me out. I'm not too sure why, but apparently it does. Hit subscribe, and if you like this man here, he has now got his own YouTube channel. You've been uploading regularly for a few months now, haven't you? I have. Congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. Click his face. You can go over and see a video that we did over on his channel. A day in the life of Jack, mate. Yes, indeed. It was a good one. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Jack. Nozzle's been Nozzle. Peace out. Be lucky. Oh, darned it.